One day hey, Nicky here, next day you're gone, yo. One never knows. Oh, I love this record. One of my best Nas records. I've said this before. In my darkest days, letting up the righteous smoke. Cause I'm dealing with this thug life crisis and can't cope. Niggas on my dick, we won't stop. You ain't your seatbone, Fox, no. Right away, no. Fucking little Kim Ray J. Walk, the list goes on. Man, broke my heart. The world wanna know what's in the life with the prettiest dog. <laughs> Shout out to Queens. Fame, what up? <laughs> That's life. Never be good. Losing my wife, it's true. We talk one set to each other. We front of night, we left with his brothers. Chat pops, moves, we to my faces. Walks with ether with bass. Damn! What bastard? What you hearing is a replica. Mm. Done both sides of the fence. What my ditch is dug. One never knows to one. Why am I playing that? It just came to my head. I love that record. I, th I think I've talked about it a little bit before. That shit is one of Nas's best records, in my honest opinion. Like, you know, Nas has a sea of amazing records. Shout out to Queens, like I said. Fame, what up? That Queens energy, that real shit, okay? Now, we're going to talk about some fake shit, okay? <laughs> we're going to talk about some fake shit, but at least I'm going to put a nice, beautiful beat over it so that we don't... It sounds a little bit better, okay? So now, shout out to Lil B. Um, the heart. This shit sucked. Okay, obviously. Um, it's mayo, man. It's not for us, you know what I'm saying? But look, look at the people who made the beat. Do they even make hip hop music? You know what I'm saying? Produced by two white guys. Never heard of them before. Look, listen. With all due respect, the heart is not a hip hop record. Okay, it's spoken word with like you know some stuff in the background right and again there's nothing wrong with that right if you're into that it's not hip-hop it's it's its own thing it's a spoken word thing now personally to me that shit's played out because i remember the spoken word scene um again it's not new people been doing spoken word i mean spoken word is as old as fucking dirt right but with that said the scene in terms of like when it got really popular in the late 90s to the 2000s, right? Love Jones, y'all remember Love Jones and shit like that? I remember going in the, in the 2000s to the clubs and people were doing the spoken word thing. I never was really huge into it. Like, it always came across kind of corny to me, respectfully. But, um, <laughs> but it, you know, it had its moment and for what it was at the and initially, I think it was okay. It definitely got watered down and corny and I think that's why the scene just died because there was nothing really new coming out, you know what I'm saying? Because the scene, to me, is dead. I don't, this is, you know, coming from somebody who lives in Toronto, who was in New York and stuff like that. I just don't see it as much as I used to. So I'm assuming the shit is pretty much dead. But what's interesting, obviously, is that Kendrick Lamar is like, you know, he's the spoken word rapper of this era to a certain extent. And, um, you know, of course, it's got white people in the tizzy because it's like they've never heard of this shit before. <laughs> They're blown away that someone could even do spoken word style raps, even though niggas been doing that shit, right? And there's nothing new or special about it. And the way Kendrick does it is mediocre, all things considered, right? But anyways, you guys want to know my opinion on the song. Obviously, I thought it was mid, but it's not for me, right? Again, it's not made for people who look like me or even are into hip-hop, right? It's made for a separate audience. It's made for Kendrick's audience, right? Kendrick's audience who most of them don't listen to rap like that, despite what they might, you know, pretend and try to tell you. We know that they don't really listen to rap, okay? Kendrick stands are not hip-hop listeners like that. Let's be honest. We know this. So, yeah, obviously I didn't care for it, but whatever. You know what I mean? I do say I would admire... One thing I admire about Kendrick is that at least he's sticking to the playbook that makes him work and successful. If that's if the heart is what he th throws out to his super core fans and they're expecting you know, this kind of stuff from him, then, you know, it's good for him to do that. You know, I, I always sometimes wish that some of my favorite artists of this era, like Playboy Cardi and ASAP, they would stick to the plan. You know what I mean? Like I've said this before, part of what makes me frustrated by them is that they start, you know, they start doing other shit, right? Like instead of just doing what works, right? You know what I'm saying? Like Playboy Cardi's on this like white boy king vamp thing. And I'm just like, man, them fans are going to abandon you when, you know, soon or soon-ish like they're not you know they're they're there for the to ride the momentum the hype that you generated with actual real music you know what i'm saying like 
Like, why cater to them and shit like that? And I get it. Like, they, you know, they got disposable income and stuff like that. And that's what we do out here in hip-hop. But, you know, they're not going to give a fuck about you. You know what I mean? The people that are actually going to give a fuck about you going forward in the next five, ten years are people like me who really love subtitled, right? Or or listen to some of Dial It and like Dial It a bit. So it's not this fucking whole lot of red punk vampire thing. But hopefully, you know, Cardi will come back. <laughs> to the black community in some in some respects if he doesn't it is what it is you know it's just another artist right um yeah i think long story short speaking of the kendrick thing like i said the bars are meaningless to me i don't think he's really saying anything what's he saying that you're gonna quote nothing you know what i'm saying it's all very you know generic and celeb chaser style which we know with kendrick with the video obviously you know it's just to get a reaction, it's internet shit, you know what I'm saying, like, there's nothing profound or deep about it, um, it's just meme, meme music, right, <laughs> like my man Lil B, at least Lil B was being honest when he made his meme music, you know what I'm saying, and then to throw it in with some honesty in there, so, yeah, I'm not a fan, not a fan, um, I thought there was a line in there, something like he has to go to work to sell work, but then he won't pay for work, I actually thought that was a decent line from Kendrick. It's one of the better lines he spit. But again, it's nothing that uh, I would say. It's like, whoa. No. <laughs> it's average, man. Come on. It's an average line. Like, I don't listen to it. I don't do average. You know, I'm not going to put average on a fucking pedestal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as for Kendrick speaking on the whole Nipsey thing, you already know what I think about the whole Nipsey thing and what I thought about Nipsey in general. I've made a video about Nipsey. Go listen to it if you want to, you know, see my opinion. Um, again, I think Kendrick speaking on Nipsey is funny to me in a sense because it's, again, it's celeb chaser shit, right? He's just trying to get a buzz out there, you know? Yeah, he's throwing, he's throwing them a couple crumbs. It's fine. You know, it's corny, but I mean, it, <laughs> it's Kendrick. I mean, you know, he starts off the video. And... <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> well, let me listen to this dweeb. What does this dweeb got to tell me? You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't, man. I, I just, you know, it's, it's just not for me, homie. Like, you know what I mean? I'm going to check you later. You know what I mean? So, listen. Obviously, I'm doing this video. Uh, let's let's see if we can wait until the the, <laughs> the 13th when I give this shit, uh, like, a listen. You know, his album. I will listen to it for sure. Of course, I'll listen to it. Like I said, it's a big, you know, it's a hip-hop release in the sense of, obviously, the marketing. So, I'll check it out. Yeah, I'll check it out. You know, but... I hope it's, you know, this is a decent song. And I'm telling you, if there is a song that actually is hip-hop, it probably won't be because Kendrick Lamar's fans are not into hip-hop. But if there is a hip-hop song that's actually decent and worth listening to, I'm sure I'll tell you. Trust me. Like I said, you know, if it's dope, it's dope. Peace.